Yo, what's up guys, it is Nam here, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make a ninja thumbnail on paint.net. So, you know, it's pretty easy, you just gotta follow what I'm saying. So, the thumbnail size on a YouTube video is 1280 by 720 pixels, right? So you just wanna do that real quick, and from there, you wanna go to Google, wherever you want, whatever web browser you prefer, uh, you wanna open up, uh, you know, this will be linked in the description, nudepixel.com slash access fortnite and these are 4k so you know uh, I'll, let's just look for a, you know a wallpaper we like so you know I'm just going to choose this at random because you know this is just an example uh, so you know we're going to copy this image the season 7 you know thing uh, so I'm going to minimize and use the wand control v and then keep canvas size you don't want to click that at all now i've made another video in the past of um, how to download paint on that uh, so i'll link that into the in the description as well and it will also be on the tags at the end of the video the little pop-up you know so you you just want to resize this from 4k to you know 1280 by 720 uh, you know pretty simple now here is where you have to listen now so uh, you have to go to the shapes down here or you can just click O. So you can go to rectangle at the top and you click triangle. And make sure you click the uh, arrow next to like the fill and click draw field shape. Or you can just click it once. So you want to add a layer. Okay, that was my bad. <laughs> so you want to do a triangle. Make sure you, uh, yeah, okay, wait, never mind. I said that. I had to cut that bit out because, uh, you know, I'm tripping right now. Alright, so you want to go to this, you want to control C, so you copy and paste this triangle, and we're going to use the same triangle the whole way, you know, uh, so, wait, you, uh, you want to add another layer, and control C, and uh, not control V, sorry, and make it a bit like this, so you want to follow it like that, and add another layer, and control V, you know, easy stuff, easy stuff. This is a lot easier than you think. Okay, so then you add another. I know it gets confusing with all the layers, but really, it's not really. Uh, so, sharp. I do like that. Um, so yeah, you just got want to organize these little triangles into what you like, really. So, go like this. Control V. You get the hang of it. that skillful <laughs> but you know you never know you could find this tricky so take your time if you want uh, so yeah I'm just gonna speed up do this a little bit more quicker you know I'm getting the hang of it I don't think I made a thumbnail like this in a while the last one I did on this was like September or something uh, so Yeah, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, and here's the fun bit. Wait. Oh wait, no, the fun bit is not that soon. Okay. So, once you've done that, you want to merge all these layers together. And then he has some smaller ones in the middle. Oh my bad. Okay, add another layer. Control V again. And you want to do the ones here. I mean, you don't have to do these ones you can because you know they look pretty cool so add a layer again and just tilt it and just make it like that so that looks pretty cool and boom you have like ninja's little overlay now so that's pretty cool and just, you know tilt this around so boom just like that okay so now you want to merge all the layers to layer two so this is this should be you know ninjas overlay so you, you can save this to your files and just drag it in if you know what i mean so we were uh, you know we're gonna go layer properties down here and you want to click this oh no you don't you want to drag the opacity down to i have mine at about you know we're gonna go 184 
okay and then he normally has like a gradient so you want to click the gradient tool yep and you want to probably go you know dark blue on one oh dear okay dark blue on one so make your secondary color blue like dark blue and then make one probably about that blue okay so you click the gradient right and you want to go to radial and then you go in the middle and you just drag up easy as that okay and maybe you want to see the actual gradient so as you can see oh wait now i forgot to add a layer my bad okay so just drag go to the middle drag up and boom and then you want to go to the opacity again and you want to lower it down to about 171 that's what i am using obviously and here is another fun bit so you want to go to the open up your web browser of choice uh and this will be fnbr.co this website will be linked in the description so i'm going to use the instinct outfit you can easily go on cosmetics and you know list of all the cosmetics you can find any skin you want you click on it and it will pop up with featured items png and an icon png i'm going to use the icon um normally i prefer to use the featured you know it looks pretty cool there so then we're going to make it bigger Yeah, that will do. And then, once you've done that, if you want to download plugins, I mean, you, you can do this, but you know, it just make you just turn the brightness down a little bit, and it make, just makes it stand out a little bit more, only a little bit. So if you want to do download plugins, another link in the description will be a video, a tutorial of mine to, on how to download plugins. So you know, it only makes it a little bit better. So you don't have to really have to worry um, too much about that. So then now we have to do the text here, right? So we're gonna do boom. Okay, so we're gonna do white for the first one. And the, the font I use is Oblex Pro. So where is that? Right here. Uh, this is what Ninja fonts, this is what Ninja uses as its font, I think. Uh, I don't think it's the exact one, but you know, it's a, it's a replica kinda. So, uh, you know, it'll be in the description. So we're gonna go to like what size? We're gonna go to like 72, and we're gonna go how to make just like that. Okay, maybe we'll go a little bit smaller. You know, no biggie. Uh, we might go like 66. That's perfect. All right. Okay, and then you wanna add another layer, and you know you're gonna make this orange to make ninja foul actually i think i don't really like this color too much so we're gonna go like dark yellow uh ninja farm nail and we're gonna make this one smaller because that's what he has on the uh you know on his channel so how to make ninja thumbnail uh, and boom you have made it pretty much and if you want you can add a fortnite battle royale logo under this and you know that's pretty much it for this video if you want more of these paint.net tutorials make sure to like and comment and yeah i'll see you in the next one guys make sure to subscribe and yeah later